UFC analyst and former light heavyweight and heavyweight champion of the world in the UFC, Dave, uh, Daniel Cormier with me now. Daniel, listen, no offense, champ, but the heavyweight yeah. division's never really been the glamour division in the sport. Like, guys like no. you were light heavies toward the end of their career when they moved up. Guys like Brock Lesnar were giant. They lasted a minute. These two dudes, champ, these two dudes, this is like a new thing in the UFC. The winner of this fight would be, John Jones would face the winner. He'd be the underdog for the first time in his career. And that doesn't happen. John Jones has never been the underdog. He's the guy that everybody expects to win. But whoever wins this fight, he'll be a dog against. Look, Max, this is the first time you see heavyweight fall into that sweet spot. 6'4", 255, 260, athletic. And the reactions you get when people see Francis Ngannou, it shows you the level of power that this man possesses. This dude is the biggest puncher that we see in combat right now. And, and that's the crazy thing. Like, the, the baddest man on the planet used to be the heavyweight boxing champion of the world. But given, because now this is kind of a glamour division with these guys in it, given this fact that you just said, the baddest man on the planet in terms of an actual fight is the UFC champion. And Daniel, explain this one. Nganu shows up, looks devastating, learns some takedown defense, knocks out Miocic, <laughs> and the next time we see him, he's the underdog? Why is yes. he the underdog against Cyril Gan, who looks very good against Derek Lewis? I mean, when you look at Cyril Gan, no match, like, this guy seems to be the next level. We were discussing this this morning. Uh, he's a bit of a unicorn. He's an outlier, right? People talk about him evolving the game. Joe Rogan said that. It's more like once in a lifetime because even though people will try to replicate what he does, nobody moves like him. We have never seen a heavyweight in the UFC move like Stephen the Wonder Boy Thompson. Cyril Gaon literally just broke Derek Lewis down to the point that Derek wanted out and he became the interim champion. But when he fights Francis Ngannou, you are taking on a guy that believes in his power and a guy that has developed under Eric Nipsic and is even better today than he was when he fought Stipe in March. This is an ideal heavyweight championship fight, and the energy in Anaheim tomorrow night is going to be off the charts. Who wins, champ? Oh, Max, you, you know, the beauty in this is this. I don't fight No, 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 no. But fighters, no, no. Who wins? fighters are the most sensitive. <laughs> you know fighters are the most sensitive people on the planet. And because I call the fights, I am not allowed I, uh, to I've been in that the situation. Fight. So I save, Max, it saves us from the wrath of these sensitive fighters. But what I can guarantee is that hey. this fight is going to be good. And if it goes long, I think Gon wins. Knockout Francis Ngannou. DC, I'll say it. I just had Ngannou on the show, love Ngannou. I'm picking Cyril Gon. I think he oh. makes fewer mistakes at his size and athletic ability and skill level than everyone else, and I think the guy who makes fewer yep. mistakes wins this fight, but I cannot wait. That's the great Daniel Fun. Cormier, ladies and gentlemen. UFC 270 is tomorrow night with Francis Ngannou defending his heavyweight championship against undefeated, and also he has an interim belt now, Cyril Gaon. In the main event, do not miss this. Like Bill's Chiefs and this. The prelims are on ESPN, ESPN Deportes, and ESPN Plus starting at 8 Eastern, followed by the main card on pay-per-view. To order in English and Spanish, go to ESPNPlus.com slash PPV.